agents here in the Bay Area, not sure if you are aware of this, in July of this year, transactions were down nearly 40%. And this video is a simple reminder to all of us right now that because transaction count is falling, there are going to be casualties. And if we do not have a game plan on how to overcome this dramatic, dramatic decrease in transaction count, we are at a tremendous disadvantage. And so what happens when transaction count falls by 40%? Well, that literally means that 40% of the business that you would have done last year no longer exists. So what do we need to do? Well, it means we need to talk to more people. It's crazy. The more we prospect, the more conversations we have, the more conversations, the more deals we're going to do. We have to have 40% more conversations now to do the same amount of business. That's the way that I interpret that. And of course, some of us might refuse to believe this. Uh, some of us might say, oh, that's silly. There's no way that that's actually true. It is true. It is true. And, and it is obviously not necessarily one-to-one -one like that, but I guarantee you that if you continue about the same strategy, if you use the same approach, the same methodologies, everything that you did a year ago and think that everything is going to be the same and you're going to do the same amount of deals and that everything is going to be okay, you are in for a major, major wake up call. And it may not have happened in July for you, but it might happen in the fall or the winter or the spring. And so I would encourage you, if you're watching this video right now and you have not made an, an adjustment to your strategy to do so, not for your 2023 business plan, but today figure out, hey, how can I increase the amount of conversations that I'm having on, a, on any given day? Because if you are not doing that, you, you're at a massive disadvantage. Why are transactions why is transaction count falling? Well, there, there's two things here. There are less buyers buying and less listings are actually going pending. So you're, you're getting the same or probably more listing opportunities than you were at this same time last year. But part of our approach also needs to consider what am I doing differently outside of the norm to make sure that my listings move as opposed to becoming a casualty of the market that we're in? This reminds me of a quote from my coach, Lorna Hines. She said, the, the greatest listing agents, the great distinguishes the good from the great. It's the good listing agents can take listings. The great listing agents can get price reductions. And so perhaps part of our strategy moving forward isn't simply like, hey, let's talk to way more people because talking to 40% more people is a lot of people. Perhaps we also need to invest and devote some time into making sure that we're refining our skill sets and refining our listing processes to ensure that when appropriate, we can get price reductions on our listings so that the listings can move. Because right now, if you're thinking, hey, I can go in with the same skill set and the same amount of conversations and get the same results, something doesn't add up. So we need to make some adjustments somewhere. What can you do? It's not a question for me to answer. It's a question for you to answer for yourself. Talk to more people, refine our systems around listings, refine our skill set to ensure that we're not just a good listing agent who can take the listing, but a great listing agent who can get the price reductions and ultimately get it sold. This is Danny Gold, everyone selling Silicon Valley. Stay legendary, everybody. Mm -hmm.